welcome once again to the Hollard Sport Industry Awards platform and the uh, latest in our series of interviews with South African sports industry members, looking at the stories that make headlines in and around South African sport from a commercial and business point of view. And I'm joined today by the communications and brand manager for Hollywood Bets, based in Durban, uh, Devin Heffer. He joins me now. Hollywood Bets, one of the betting brands, have become very active in the sponsorship space the last couple of years. We see them involved in the likes of horse racing in KZN, um, their name on the fence of various horse uh, racing venues in KZN. We've seen them involved in women's football, the Super League. Um, we've seen them involved in cricket and rugby in KZN. And uh, there's no doubt that they're one of the sponsorship stories um, of the past couple of years. So, Devin, uh, thank you for joining us today. And uh, my first question to you, just give us a sense of what the Hollywood Bets sponsorship strategy is. Uh, thanks, Dylan. Thanks very much for having me on the show. Um, yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a odd thing how our, our sponsorship strategy came about. It's, it's it's kind of one of those things. You know, we we love we absolutely passionate and love our sports. So a lot of it has kind of developed out of um, community based sports. You know, we've always started our sponsorships of small and grown them as we've gone along. So. Funny enough, when you look at the cricket space, the Hollywood Bets Dolphins was our first major sponsorship. And that actually came out of sponsoring club cricket. And it was just a chance thing where someone offered us an associate sponsorship with the Dolphins. And um, it was a big leap for us then. Um, but it was amazing to eventually see that strategy of once you start putting your name to a brand that is well established and quite recognizable, how it starts building your brand integrity and credibility within the business space. And it had this massive knock on effect for our business. So, you know, in terms of our strategy, it's, it's always been about, you know, Let's look at brands that, you know, that fit our culture, that ones that we're happy to get involved with. Are we passionate about those brands or are we just, you know, we're not really a company that one just puts our name to a team and then walk away. And also, secondly, we we also don't like to be a faceless sponsor. Um, we like to get our people involved. Funny enough, our CEO and director actually stay out of the limelight. They, they don't like it at all. They send us youngsters in to do all the, the dirty work. But um, it's it's one of those things. We've got such a diverse, amazing team that, you know, really reflects on to all the different sponsored entities that we get involved with. Um, that might be the case, Devin, but, I mean, how do you measure the success of, of a sponsorship? And you mentioned the Dolphins was the first one you got involved in. What came out of that from a tangible point of view that, that made you say perhaps this is a, a something we needed to add to, to our marketing mix from a, um, using sponsorship strategically? I go back to the brand credibility because I think a lot of the time people fall into the trap of just measuring and spitting out numbers and you're not actually looking at their own numbers and their own performance in their business. That was one thing we actually found with the Dolphins was that following that sponsorship, all of a sudden we had businesses that previously wouldn't didn't really want to work with us or weren't really sure of us but once they saw that we were on tv we had our name tied to a big brand that we were actually quite credible and i think it it will it's actually something that's helped the betting industry in another sense because it's also shown that you know we are heavily regulated and and we have massive license conditions we have to fulfill so you know we are a legitimate business just like others a lot of the sponsorship space is always you know your your main ones as we mentioned you know your sharks your dolphins but it's going into the communities so for instance our 90 branches that we own um, our retail branches across south africa each one of them sponsors a community sports team that's in their community not you know 50 k's away or 20 k's away it's it's very close to the branch and something that's going to have an impact that people are going to see. We've been able to see the tangible results in terms of, you know, the revenues going up, the accounts being opened. And in terms of that, it's kind of allowed us to sponsor more. Coming back to, to strategy, uh, Devin, you, you haven't focused on one particular sport. You're in cricket, you're in rugby, you're in women's football, you're in netball. I mean, quite sort of diverse sports, you would say. We start things small. I mean, if we, we look at rugby, for instance, we started that sponsorship for the Sharks. Before that, we were sponsoring the, the Hollywood Bets Murray Cup, which is a, a club rugby tournament here. That also happened by chance. You know, someone approached us with the idea from the KZNRU, and that blossomed into an amazing partnership that eventually became the Sharks, and now we're the title sponsors of Hollywood Bets Kings Park. Football was, I think, more of a strategic 
point of view, um, when we look at the Hollywood Bet Super League, was a great opportunity for us to start investing into women's sports, especially women's football. Um, you know, SAFA, we're looking for sponsors. Um, you know, we haven't been able to get involved with PSL teams, but getting involved with the Hollywood Bet Super League was, gave us a perfect opportunity. We recently went online, the UK and Ireland, about three years ago, and it's been a bit of a slow process, but through the success of the South African business, we've been able to start building the brand there. I'm not sure how much you've been following this past Premier League season, but it was absolutely incredible to see how Brentford performed, you know, beating the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea and drawing with Liverpool, and also, again, amazing culture. And recently, Netball South Africa was a big sponsorship for us. Also, you know, just an amazing culture there. You know, the feedback I've got from the team is working with their committee um, and their exec and how amazingly organized they've been and how jacked up they are. And it's actually one of the top organizations out there in terms of organization that they're actually really enjoying. And then obviously horse racing is probably the biggest one out of the last couple of years and one that's really close to our hearts because our business was built on the back of horse racing. And now we're looking at it 34 years later and now we've got our name attached to the race course name and now the biggest race in Africa in the Hollywood Bets Durban July. Hey Devin, I just wanted to come back to the Brentford sponsorship and we saw Hollywood Bets was on the, the back of the jersey and then obviously graduating to the, to the front of the jersey. I would imagine, you know, substantial more investment in that sponsorship. Um, but there's no doubt one of the talking points in, in the UK space is, is a clampdown on, on, on betting uh, sponsorship in the sports space in the UK. Um, does that concern you? And do you see a future in South Africa where that might be the case here? Yeah. The PSL at the moment is doesn't allow betting companies to get involved. Um, you know, there's there's a few th legal things that are, are kind of stopping that from happening. Um, obviously, that that's a question we get asked quite often: is, is why we're not involved with the PSL. But obviously, the clampdown that that's you know been spoken about at length in the in the UK. Um, you know, when we we wanted to get involved with Brentford two seasons ago, it was already being spoken about. And obviously now I think there's a white paper that's coming out that's about to, you know, to go ahead to say, you know, whether they should ban, um, you know, betting companies being front of shirt sponsors. The, the, the thing is, you know, at the end of the day, the, the, the amount of money and revenue that's being generated by these clubs from the betting sponsors is massive. I mean, if you look at it in the past season, I think 16 of the 20 Premier League teams had betting partners and in the championship, 22 of the 24 had betting partners as front of jersey sponsors. Now, you take away that revenue, it's, it's quite significant. Um, the thing is also, you know, I mean, it's, I think it boils more down to problem gambling um, in the UK, where that's being highlighted as the problem and cause that they want to remove it. Um, are we cognizant of it? Yes. Um, are we riding the roller coaster at the moment and then taking the ride as we go? Yes. I mean, it's you know you got to we we've secured Brentford for another season which we're really excited about um, you know we really enjoyed in their success in the first season and we just got to take it as it comes. Lastly, Devon, um, what can we expect from Hollywood Bets uh, in the sponsorship space in the, in the near future? Any exciting announcements? Do you any new sports you're going to go into? Jeez, yeah, no, it's a, it's amazing, you know. <laughs> I think you know the more you sponsor, the more the more proposals you receive. Um, I think at the moment, you know, our, our main focus is really gearing into the, um, the the events that we partnered with. Obviously, the Hollywood Bets Derm in July is a major one for us. I think this one goes beyond sports sponsorship in that it, it's very much an entertainment and event, social event, which we're learning a lot about. But our team is getting absolutely stuck into. The Comrades Marathon has been one that is coming up now also at the end of August. We've been involved for the last 11 years there. And this year actually is quite exciting because it almost feels like it's a new new race and we've always got stuck into that. Netball South Africa is going to be an exciting one. I, I don't foresee any new sponsorships kind of, you know, popping out here or there. One other thing that's quite exciting is 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 um, blind cricket, funny enough. You know, we've, we've been involved with blind cricket South Africa now for the last two years. Um, and it's, it's one of those organizations that kind of receives very little help from, you know, the governing bodies. We've been involved with SA as well as KZN Blind Cricket now, as well as their national tournaments. And, um, yeah, that's also just growing as we go. They've actually got the World Cup at the end of the year. So, you know, we, we're busy trying to 
secure that and hopefully get involved with them and when they go to India at the end of the year. Right, Devin, I think it's a good place to leave it. Uh, that was Devin Heffer, the Brand and Communications Manager at Hollywood Bets, joining us here on the Hollard Sport Industry Awards platform.